outer space with the cat in the hat. Oh, one of my favorites, guys. Thanks for coming back. Uncle Eddie here. We're going to read about the moon. This guy, his name's Dr. Uh, uh, cat in a Hat by Dr. Seuss. One of my favorites, and I hope he is yours too. So let's check it out. There's no place like space. Outer space, the solar system. Did you know that the moon's made of cheese? Real cheese, guys. How many of you think that's true? <laughs> let's find out. Here we go. There's no place like space. By Tish Rabe and illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. Ooh. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars and the sun. There's no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury is close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. Brr. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. That's right. It spins all the time round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the Earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? Well, we don't feel the Earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it. Right now, every day. Mm -hmm. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think it could float in an ocean and not even sink? A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show you some to you. Neptune, planet eight, is a beautiful bright blue. We have seen all the planets. Now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up some 999 nickels. See, Mallory for Mercury, Valerie for Venus, Emily for Earth, Mickles for Mars, Just for Jupiter, Saved for Saturn, Up for Uranus, 999 for Neptune, Nickels. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickles just saved up 999 nickels. Mm -hmm. Now here's a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. Mm -hmm. The dog, the bear, the Leo, the lion, Taurus, the bull, and a hunter named Orion. A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it is hot. 
And there's one star by far that's our favorite one of all. We can't live without it. The star called the sun. From the earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun we just heard right this minute? A million of our Earths could all fit right in it. Wow, that's one big star. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. Hmm. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore, a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon car called the Lunar Rover. In astronomer studies, what's up in the sky? Thing 2 wants to be one. In fact, so do I. Did you guys know that the first astronomer was Neil Armstrong? Mm -hmm. And he even set a uh, foot on the earth and then he planted the American flag. I like constellations. There's one called the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. The universe is a mysterious place. We are just only learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and find something new. Huh. Very good. Okay, this is called a glossary. Sometimes at the end of a book, there's a glossary and it shows you what the words are and the, what it means or the definition. The astronaut is a person who pilots a spacecraft or works in space. An astronomer is a person who studies the planets, stars, sun, moon, and other celestial bodies. The constellations are a group of stars that form a pattern in the sky that looks like a picture. A lunar rover is a vehicle used by astronauts to explore the surface of the moon. A satellite? That's a natural or man-made object that moves around a planet. Solar system. The sun and all the planets that move around it. That's called a solar system. A telescope. This is like a instrument that uses lenses to make faraway objects appear close to you. They have like Lenses in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, like stacked. It's really cool. Universe. Everything that exists, including the Earth, the planets, the stars, and all of outer space, is the universe. Really cool. That's it. Here's a list of other books you guys could read from Dr. Seuss. The Cat in a Hat, who's a good guy. He's so awesome. Some people don't like them, but I love them. Okay, that's it. Have a great night. Tune in next time when we go over another, maybe like a solar system book or a space book. I don't know. Here's an idea. Here's a question. What do you guys want to hear? Huh? Okay. Talk to you soon.